What's up guys, it is Colin G here, the Swole Nurse, back at it, and it is a lovely, lovely Monday morning, and I just got done with my first heavy back day of my new 10-week cube program. We got all of our numbers dialed in, so we're working with proper percentages with constant progression, and we are moving forward towards the new 1,200-pound total goal. I'm a little out of breath, but I want to take some time to discuss a topic that I find is extremely important, and that is being a responsible lifter. I frequent social media and I frequent the forums, and every day I find that nine, uh, a lot of people that are on the forums and on the internet and lifting aren't really taking the time to do the proper research. They all want results right now. They all want to jump on things right now. And when I say doing research, it's not saying, hey, you know, my bro in the gym said this, or this guy said that. Even if your best friend's been lifting for 10 years, chances are his, some of his advice not may actually be sound to what's correct. So you need to do the time to take and do some proper research, especially when it comes into doing some sort of, uh, some sort of gear. I saw a Facebook post that said, it is time for me to pin. And what are the, uh, people who aren't um, familiar with what pinning is, that means injecting yourself. Normally, test is, normally testosterone is pinned around once a week as a dosage. So he said, it's time for me to pin, but I don't have any pins. Can I just soak this pin in alcohol, being the needle, and then let it sit to dry? Or will that affect the oil and whatnot that I'm mixing my stuff in? Now, I can do an entire video on how dirty needles and how this is completely unsanitary and unsafe for your body. If you're going to spend the time and the money to inject drugs into your body, why are you not spending $12 to buy a box of needles? What is it about that? I mean, why can you, why? Why can you only get one needle to do what you do? That doesn't even make any sense. You shouldn't be even injecting yourself to begin with, regardless of what it is. Um, you know, people lift with improper form just to get heavier reps. Why? What's the point? Okay, so you can lift the weight once, but are you going to be able to lift it for 30 plus years? It just doesn't really make any sense to me. And it's also bad with pro-hormones too. If you have to ask, if you have to take a PCT while you're taking a pro-hormone afterwards, then you shouldn't even be thinking about taking pro-hormones yet. There are simple questions that should already be known that you shouldn't even have to ask. If you have to ask what your pro-hormone cycle looks like and if it's a good one or not, and if you run the risk of getting gynecomastia afterwards, then you have no business taking it to begin with. You need to take some time out to do your research. It may take six months to do have enough education to do a pro-hormone cycle safely and properly. And the same thing comes with diet and exercise. I mean, just because you've been lifting for three months doesn't mean you've mastered the bench press. Some people have been lifting for 15 years and are still working on improving their form and technique. There should be no reason why you should be trying to rush these things. Take out the time, do something smart, don't hurt yourself, and stop giving bodybuilding and powerlifting and the sport in general a bad rap because you don't want to take the time to figure out what you're doing and then blame it on the compounds or blame it on whatever it is, your diet, your training, blaming it on your coach if you have a coach because you didn't lose weight, because you didn't do the cardio, because you were lazy. I mean, stop making excuses for being an irresponsible lifter. In the end, if you take out the time to do the research and do things the right way, you will have far more success than if you didn't. So once again, this is Colin G here, the Swole Nurse. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow those social media links down below, and I will catch you guys with another video.